Good morning, third rate content here. We're up very early this morning because we're on a trip to Lindos. See you there. Don't be an ass. <laughs> of roads although it's unconfirmed that that's what he actually looked like because we haven't got any evidence but I think it's as good a representation as any we're taking the many many steps up to the Acropolis of Lindos So we're heading up to the Acropolis with one of the three main Acrop Acropolis of Lindos Island, of Rhodes Island. Yes. Thank you. too close to that but fantastic view
Statues used to be here. Now that's all that's left is the bases. They're all in museums around the world. The Ottomans sold off the rights to archaeological teams in the 17th, 18th century. And they kind of took everything. All we've got left is the bases, but it's still very interesting. So, as you can see, we have three distinct usage usages of this wonderful temple. Had the early temple dedicated to Athena. Then you had the Christian church, which is just here, run by the Knights of St. John, that we're seeing a lot of here on Rhodes. And then finally, the Byzantines, who took it over after their invasion. Whole thing, over 1600 years, but there was a temple here before that, made of wood. Obviously there's nothing left of it now. So goodness knows how long this site has been in use. But the 1600 years is what we know about for sure. Evidence of ancient vandalism. Quite interesting. This carving of a boat or a ship or Tyrene was uh, put up in commemoration of a admiral from Lindos who won a big sea battle against the unknown sea people. Unfortunately the actual statue of the admiral has been taken away and it is now in a museum in Denmark. Christmas. Last place you'd expect to find him at the Temple of Athena, but I stayed right on time. As you can see, we're going down, going down, going down, down, down. Back to Lindos Village. Lindos Village. Sea trade was the main um, occupation of the people who lived here in ancient times. Really right the way up to the 20th century shipbuilding and commerce. Um, in the 20th century it kind of fell into a lull under Italian rule but tourism brought it back and, and also the Guns of Navarone was filmed here as well as Pink Floyd believe it or not used to come on holiday here. Dave Gilmore himself had a house just over there and his daughter got married here last year. It became fashionable to visit and it's now a thriving tourist locale. Good great content. Another magical symbol done in these lovely sea stones which is 
which is a trademark of Rhodes Island. Ariadne. Lol. After all that, time for a little reward and a first rate refreshment. Third rate content. Sign mate. So that was third rate content. Visit to Lindos Village and the Lindos Acropolis as you can see in the background. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, feel free to share. Third rate content, sign out, see you soon.